Masaki Nagumo had always dreamed of riding inside his favorite giant anime robot, Gundam. Giant robots featured in the science fiction media franchise. Now his dreams have become reality with his latest creation, which he dubs the Landwalker Mononofu. LW Mononofu for short, is a humanoid robot measuring 8.5 meters in height and weigh more than 7 metric tons. The 44-year-old engineer working for Sakaki Barakikai, a Japanese agricultural machinery maker, applied the same machinery technology into the making of his grey and yellow robot vehicle. <laughs> I think there are a lot of people who want to take a ride on Gundam. It's not about wanting to make Gundam, but wanting to ride one if it existed. I think this can be turned into a business. The LW Mononofu is equipped with a small cockpit, accessible only through a mechanical lift, and features monitors and levers for controlling the robot's arms and feet. Its right arm, an air gun in the shape of a bazooka, is able to shoot sponge balls at the speed of 140 km per hour. The Land Walker was still very far from looking like Gundam, but this time I've put arms and a face on the robot, so I've come quite close. Still, it is impossible to recreate the exact movement as the animation, so in that sense, this product is completely different. Nagumo says the LW Mononofu has come much closer to embodying the likeness of Gundam, compared to his previous creation from 12 years ago, called Landwalker, but still falls short of mimicking the fast movements the anime robot is capable of. However, as an anime-inspired robot that one can ride, I think this is the biggest in the world. Though the Japanese anime franchise Gundam features robots in a militaristic setting, Nagumo says his creations are solely meant for amusement. Renting his robots will cost about 100,000 yen per hour and he hopes that others like him will be able to realize their Gundam fantasy. However, transporting his robot out of the hangar will be tricky. It needs to be dismantled as it is too tall to pass through the entrance. Shanghai scientists have invented the world's groundbreaking third type of storage technology with two-dimensional semiconductors, solving the problem of acquiring both data writing speed and non-volatile memories in semiconducting storage. Researchers from the Shanghai-based Fudan University say this new storage technology may largely reduce the power consumption of storage for supercomputers and allow data stored in the disks to be valid for only a certain period of time before disappearing. There are so far two storage technologies in the field of semiconducting storage. One is volatile storage, such as the internal memory bank in computers. It features fast data writing speed, but the data stored inside is all lost when the computer is powered off. The other is non-volatile storage, such as flash disks, where the data stored inside can be effective for up to 10 years, but its speed of data writing and retention is poor according to Zhu Peng, a professor from the School of Microelectronics of Fudan University. The traditional flash disks is based on the quantum tunneling theory of storage electric charges. There is a probability for electric charges to get into the storage layer, but our current technology is positively conducted. That's to say, it can get in after it pushes the door open so it lowers energy waste, improves probability, and increases speed. The new storage technology is based on flash disks technology. 
Bath replaces the insulating layer of flash discs with a new two-dimensional material. As a result, electric charge can get in like that. It goes through a door instead of a wall. How wide the door can be opened can be tailor-made and the degree of openness determines the storage speed and the storage duration. The wider the door is opened, the faster the rising speed will be, but the shorter the storage duration will be. The dynamic random access memory DRAM based on capacitance technology has to be refreshed every 64 milliseconds. With the new technology, the refresh is carried out every 10 seconds. The refresh period has been improved by 156 times, greatly reducing energy consumption. Thanks to the replacement, the new storage technology meets both requirements of non-volatile memories and the speed of data writing, which is roughly 10,000 times faster than the current flash disks. Currently, large data centers in the world usually requires a power station, even a nuclear power station, to provide power for them. If we can find a power saving storage, we can dramatically reduce energy consumption. With the new technology, the storage duration of each disk can be tailor-made from 10 seconds to 10 years to solve the contradiction of data transmission and security in some special application scenarios. As a result, the data stored inside will be regularly emptied at an appointed time. Compared with traditional storage technology, the new one can save more energy.